Uh, this one, for example, is completely filled in, right? This is a student used every square inch right, to come up with a final formula sheet. There's the GDSR formula, right? See it right there? Um, I think what I would say here is uh, good thing I don't know the name of the student, otherwise I'd probably try to get a hold of no, it. Right there, the brackets. That's what I would suggest. So you gotta make sure that those little things, right? When you're nervous, you're writing the exam, those little things can throw you off, right? So uh, keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and uh, figure out what you got. I'm curious to see if you're, if you're paying attention, right? And I know it's hard this time of the year. Some of you, you're just thinking of the future. You're trying to get out of here, I get it. But we're still here, right? We're still here. We gotta finish this. We gotta make it to the finish line. So here we go. So we have a gross uh, earns a gross income per year. So that uh, I will highlight in orange like that. Uh, the houses he's been looking at have the following costs. So heating is already on a monthly basis. Property taxes is annually. So I'm gonna kind of highlight things that are not in monthly amounts the mortgage and the heating is already there so you go ahead and divide this by 12 to get um i get 358 right no sorry 6500 i was looking at the wrong one 6500 per month perfect and then this i'll divide by 12 this is 358.33 per month Okay, now everything is a monthly amount, so we're in business, right? Just plug in and go. GDSR is mortgage, uh, heating, 245, and property taxes, 358.33. Okay, all of that divided by the income. Like that. And then you add up the top. You get 1928.33 over 6500 times 100, and that ends up giving you 29.67% if you did it right. So if you forgot to divide by 12, it's minus 1 right away. And then I would have to see if your number, you plugging in what, like the 4300, let's say. If that, I would still have to follow if you actually did the rest right, if you did the arithmetic correctly, okay? So, will the bank approve uh, for the mortgage apply, that he's applied for? And the answer is yes, since the GDSR is below 32%. Okay, that's very important to mention that. And that's another criticism of this study sheet here. If I, if I can just say, I don't see next to GDSR, you should tell yourself on the study sheet, below 32% is good, above is bad, right? So unless the student is like, I don't need to do that with 32 I know it, right? And there is some hints here, the 32, right? The maximum housing, maximum payment. Those formulas are there. So the 32%, maybe the student is like, that's all I need, right? So just be careful with those little things because it's a mark. A mark here, a mark there, uh, it adds up over time. Uh, the th I, s I did say uh, th two and three to do those. One advantage of owning a house is you build equity. That's a big one. Payments stay the same stay the same what else anybody have something different okay yeah you can renovate at will you may own pets right you can stay as long as you want um right things like that do i say right a lot I have a professor that does it all the time, so I think it's it's contagious. It's like we'll say something, it's like right, 
right right so I'm, I'm kind of making joking about that sometimes so i should not do the same state and explain oh i said explain oh that's why it's two marks so build equity how is that right uh as time goes by the value of the home increases right uh, while the amount owing decreases i think that i would be okay with that that remaining amount is your equity in the house Payments stay the same, why so? You sign for five years at a time, so your payments are locked in. They don't increase just like that. I think uh, Nick, yours ex explained enough for me. Renovate, you can just say renovate. You may renovate whenever you want without any permission. I would say there's some something to be said though you need permits if you make some structural changes to the house, but that's, that's for another day, another time. Different course, grade 13. Okay. State and explain one advantage of renting. Uh, you can say that, uh, you, you can say utilities. You can just say that. Um, utilities are usually included. Utilities are usually included in rent. So you can say that would be heating, uh, electricity, gas, you name it. Uh, what else? It's easier to relocate. Uh, relocation. Much easier than owning a home. Uh, you can also say initial, in, uh, initial costs initial costs you say are much lower than buying a home buying a home okay there you go so just explain uh, if you only did the uh, if you just put down a word or two give yourselves one mark if you did some explanation you get another mark for that so we are at two four five and three that's eight so this page is worth eight and we're going to add to it on the back side and i just made that up so i don't uh i have to do this live okay so for a let's do the a monthly payment i have a piece of loose leaf here for the payment you just go 197 minus the down payment, which is 15,000. You multiply that by a rate over a thousand. Um, it's 15 years at 3.25%. So you match 3.25 over 15 years. So that's 702. Are we at 702? Okay, I just don't, I wanna make sure I don't pick the wrong one. So this is your setup. Let's figure out this part here right away because that is your mortgage. That's what we're going to be using from that, from here on in. Okay, so 197 minus 15,000. That's 182. 182,000. That's what you borrow and that's what you find the interest or the payment for. So let's go ahead and do that. 182,000 times 7.02. Divided by a thousand, here it is, one two seven seven point six four. There is your monthly payment right there. That's worth two marks. If you have a seven o two over a thousand, that's already worth one mark. And then the rest would be calculating it to get your final answer. Got it? B. How much did you pay in interest on the first month? How much of your payment went towards interest? That's lowercase i, okay? So that'd be the mortgage 
times 3.25 over 100, right, divided by 12. So here we go, 182 times 3.25 divided by 100. All of that, oops, divided by 12, that's 492.92. One mark for that. I, I would say it's either you get it or you don't. No halfers there. C. What is C asking for? Total interest, right? Yeah, total interest. What's the finance charge? So we're going to go TI. So you got to take your payment. You got to multiply that by 12. Right? This is how many, how much for one year. Multiply that by 15 years. This is how much you will pay the bank in 15 years. Minus, you take the mortgage that was taken out. This is like, they give you this much, you end up paying them this much, what's the difference? And so I need my calculator for that. So you pay them 229975. That's one mark already for that one. And then another mark for actually subtracting 182 from it. It's 47,975. 20. You have to have a zero after that too because it's a dollar amount and you have to have a dollar sign if you want the full marks. So one mark for this part and then one mark for subtracting to get that, okay? So we are at one, two, three, four, five. Five marks for this one. I mean, here, I'll... I'll So you're the teacher today, whatever you feel like you should get, but just be honest, right? Don't, uh, so what was it? Eight in the front, five in the back. So that's 13. Total is 13. Okay. Come with me. So to the front, and we'll just uh, say this is out of 5 and 8, so that's 13. So go to the top here and make that out of 13, right? Just like that. All right. So I'm going to come and collect it. Make sure your name and last name is on there because there's a lot of students in this class. I, I can't figure out who you are. 